Welcome to D93 News. Sam, we have a jam-packed show, but first we <laughs> want to tell everyone about the community meeting that is happening next week at Rocky Mountain Middle School. That's right. A few weeks ago, we sent a survey to the parents and staff about potential changes in the district that included questions about the high school boundary changes, mm -hmm. elementary student growth, and school starting and ending times. The survey results are being used to identify the most logical high school boundary when Thunder Ridge High School opens in 2018. A potential boundary will be presented to the school board at their work session on Friday, April 28th. Now the results of that survey are also being used to develop plans to address overcrowding in our elementary schools. The school board is currently considering a multi-year plan to address the rapid growth at Discovery Elementary, which is our most immediate need. A public information meeting is being held on Monday, May 1st in the Rocky Mountain Middle School Auditorium to share these proposals with, uh, with the patrons of the district. Sam. That's right. It will work like this. From 6.30 to 7.30 p.m., the topic will be the elementary school proposal. The proposal to change the boundaries at Discovery Elementary and other impacted schools will be shared. Parents, students, and staff will be invited to share their feedback with the board and district administration. Now from 8 p.m. to 9.30 p.m., the high school boundary proposal will be discussed. A potential high school boundary will be shared along with information considered in developing that boundary. Now parents, students, and staff will be invited to share their feedback with the board and district administration. A follow-up survey will also be sent to patrons at that time to solicit feedback on the proposed boundary. Now we strongly encourage you to take the time to attend the meeting and respond to the survey to share your feedback with us. The input of parents and patrons is critical to making the right decisions for the students of D93. Time is running out. If you want to watch Hillcrest High School rendition of The Music Man, and trust me, you'll want to see this. Amen to that, Sam. The students have been working hard, and as I found out, that hard work is really paying off. The Music Man has been wowing audiences since the 1950s, and it's something the entire family can enjoy. It's pretty funny, and it's pretty neat, and it's nice. Um, but it's something very enjoyable for kids too, just because of the giant theatrics in it and because of the dancing and the, the storyline behind it. I think it's very family friendly. This musical will have you on the edge of your seat as these young performers engage the audience in ways you can't find with other forms of entertainment. So much different, so much more special because we're putting those emotions on in front of everyone and they're all watching you and so you don't like, you don't, no. You don't, um, <laughs> like, you can't go back and, like, edit what you've already done. You're putting on those emotions raw for an audience, and you can't find a show like this anywhere else, really. For many of these actors, this will be their final D93 performance, as graduation is now just a month away. Others are just getting their D93 start, like Asa from Tiebreaker. This was a really special event that happened to me. I've never been in a Hillcrest high school musical or any... Type of music. You won't see all the contributors up on stage. There's a small army working behind the scenes to make sure everything is working properly, and it all started weeks ago. This is like four or five weeks worth of just hours and hours just building and then prepar preparations, just constant moving and working on everything in this play. Taylor says you won't be disappointed. It's also really good. It's one of my favorite productions I've seen so far in my high school career. 76 trombones and Now there are two performances left, one tonight, the other one is tomorrow night. Both are um, at 7 o'clock in the uh, Hillcrest Performing Arts Center. And you'll learn what shapoopy means. Shapoopy. I thought you were making <laughs> that up the first time I heard it, but is it, these are family friends. Oh, shows. I grew up with the Music Man. Now from Music Man to Mountain Man. A Mountain Man, man was uh, recently spotted at? Mount Valley? Nope, Summit Hills. <laughs> uh, Summit, he was at Summit Hills. He showed the students some of the animals that they would trap. After that, he told them, how mountain men used to have uh, cool nicknames. His nickname was Bearhead. And also at Summit Hills. We are now this video was sent to Tate Anderson to help wish him well as he continues to battle at Primary Children's Medical Center. This Summit Hills Trailblazer was born with a rare condition that just a decade ago was pretty much untreatable. Tate has had nine open heart surgeries in his short life, but hasn't let that slow him down. He is now the spokesperson for the Children's Miracle Network at Primary Children's Hospital in Salt Lake City. And on top of that, he's really good friends with Ellen DeGeneres. We certainly 
wish him well. What an awesome kid and a great family there. Now, we have an update to a story we first brought you a few weeks ago. The fourth annual Paces for Peyton was a huge success. The weather on Saturday was perfect, and hundreds showed up to support this good cause. The organizers would like to thank the community for their support and especially the volunteers who help put this event on every year. Now, parents were invited to, to Discovery on Friday, but this wasn't for parent-teacher conferences. This was for the students to share their reading achievements with their parents. With the school year coming to a close, Mrs. Julian thought this would be a great time to celebrate what they've learned by hosting a publishing party. We're celebrating our writing that we've done all year. So we've, cel we've done three types of writing, opinion, informational, and narrative. The students invited their parents and guardians in to share what they have learned. It was really special to my parents. Why was it special? Uh, because it was really fun for them. It felt good and I wanted to share some stories that, and then I got to share them with my mom. And the parents enjoyed this almost as much as the kids. It was really special. I loved hearing about all her different kinds of writing, and my favorite was her story about respect. So I loved it. We love seeing stories like this. D93 is committed to these parent partnerships. It's one of our core values, and it's a critical part of our mission of student success by design. Now, Saturday was Earth Day, and many of our D93 schools held Earth Day activities on Friday. Hillcrest students picked up trash, and some hills held a school-wide cleanup for all of the students to participate in. $1,909. That's how much money was donated to Rocky Mountain Middle School from our friends at the Idaho Dairy Council and Field up to play 60. You can see a very happy Principal Lords, Principal Kennedy, and coaches Shackett and Miller in this photo. <laughs> you definitely can see the, <laughs> the smiles on their faces. Now one quick programming yeah. note. You'll want to watch next week's D93 newscast. We're taking a closer look at the upcoming school board election. We'll be talking with the candidates for Zone 5 and in two weeks we'll introduce you to the candidates for Zone 3. You can find those stories and more next week on D93 News. We're having a lot of changes coming our way. A lot, and uh, it's important that people make an informed decision, so we're going to do our best to get that information out to you. But uh, we're going to leave you now with uh, some of the band concert the on band Friday concert night. The band concert Friday night was awesome. Stay tuned. <laughs>